Hey everyone, it's Andrea Bogart. Today I'm going to run you through another 45 minute re-energizing flow. So if you feel like you've been a little sluggish or there's any kind of transitions going on in your life right now, let this practice be one where you can really sort of let go of what's not serving you and invite in that sense of renewal, energy, and freshness. All right? So if you have any props nearby and you want to use them today, uh, please feel free to use them. Again, just a reminder, I'm in my second trimester. As I'm taping this, I'm almost through my second trimester. So while I will be making some modifications using my block, the bolster, things like that, I will still be offering you guys um, ways to intensify. So just listen to your bodies. If you want to join me in the modifications, great. If you want some more intensity, just listen for my cues. All right, guys, let's get started in Virasana today. I'm going to go ahead and use my block hugging my ankles as I drop my sit bones down onto it. You could also use a pillow or any kind of towels rolled up, or you can just simply be on your knees. This, if this doesn't work for your knees, feel free to grab Sukhasana, sit it on your sit bones, and just cross the ankles. Roll the shoulders down your back, soften your gaze, or even let the eyes full, fully close. And let's take these first few moments just to drop into our mind, body, spirit connection. And just start to invite in that sense of breathing. Feel the fullness as you breathe in through the nose. Let it rise all the way to the top of your lungs. And just open your mouth and sigh it heavy out. Two more just like that. Full deep breath in. Sigh it out. And then gently let your lips fall together and we'll start to cultivate ujjayi breath. Fancy way of saying breathing in and out through your nose. You want to feel that same rich texture that sort of felt like we could fog up a mirror. As we close the lips and you feel just that intention, that purpose, that consciousness of our deep inhale and exhales. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment. Think of something you're grateful for this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you might be in your day. And then gently just blink the eyes open. We're going to sweep the arms out to a T. Good. And take a half Garudasana. So sweep that right arm under, left elbow on top. If you can touch palm to palm or fingers to palm, great. If it's the back sides of your hands too, that's fine too. Just find what's manageable and what works for you this morning. Breathe in here and think of this as just starting to open the heart through the back body. It's a nice stretch for the shoulders, waking up the arms. Breathe in here. Good, we'll unravel that and just reverse. Left arm under, right arm top, or just do the opposite. Drop the shoulders away from the ears, but you feel the shoulder blades really wide across your back. And there's that sense of locking at the elbows and then drawing the hands away from the face and the elbows slightly lifted off the chest. Ooh, my shoulders feel that. How about yours? One more breath here. Good, let's unravel those arms, bring them back to the legs and just give the shoulders a few rolls, just easy rolls back, a little serpentine, easy rolls forward, just loosening everything up, good. And then let's just roll the neck around nice and easy here, one full circle all the way, one direction, and one circle all the way, the opposite. Good, gently move forward. So come to hands and knees if you were on all fours, or sorry, on your knees like me, or in Sukhasana, just make your way into all fours. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll my ankles around. If you were on your knees and ankles like me, give your ankles a little roll. It can feel good, stretch the feet out. Beautiful, back to all fours, stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. 
Fingers spread nice and wide. Let's move through a couple of gentle cat-cows. Deep inhale, draw the chest and sit bones up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, fully round, chin to chest, draw your navel in. Good. Inhale, let your breath trigger that movement to cow pose. Exhale, fully out, round, chin to chest. Once more, inhale, pull that heart through. Exhale, release it out. Inhale, right back through neutral spine. Tuck your toes. We're just going to hover those knees an inch off the mat. Good. Remember that focus we have, that intention through this practice is letting go of tension, of resistance, of challenge, of things that are grappling and sort of sitting in our joints and our bones, causing unwanted stress. And we're going to invite in that stuff to move so we can make, make room for a new energy. Release the knees back down. Take the knees wide apart. Let's move through Balasana, child's pose. Sit bones back to your heels. Extend the arms forward, head. Kisses the earth if it's available. You could always use your fist here or a block or a pillow as well. Breathe in, reminding ourselves, resting posture here in our, in our little Balasana. So if you need this at any juncture throughout your practice, you can always come here for a rest and jump back in when you're ready. Inhale, come right back up to all fours. Tuck your toes and let's head into our first downward facing dog. I am starting to put my feet a little bit wider than hip distance just to make more space and room for the baby belly. If you need that for your hamstrings or your low back, you can join me there. Otherwise, you're just in that standard Hip distance apart with the feet, thighs drawing back, heels descending towards the earth. Let's pedal it out. Bend your right knee. Good, switch. One more time each side. Rolling toe ball heel. What is arriving? What sensations do you feel? Lift both heels up nice and high. Exhale, roll through the heels. Inhale forward to plank, top of a push up. Right away, I'm going to modify and release my knees down. You're welcome to join me there or keep building that intensity by staying in that strong high plank. Heart forward. Good. One more breath. Lift it up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Gorgeous, guys. Inhale again, forward to plank. Let's take one chaturanga push-up with or without your knees lower halfway. Press right back up. Send it up and back, down dog. Exhale. Gorgeous. One more time. Inhale forward to plank. This time lower all the way to your belly. I will modify to all fours. Take it all the way down to your floor, to the floor, and up. And baby cobra, lift your heart. Peel up baby cobra. I'm just coming up to open up the chest the same way. Exhale, release it back down. Good, one more time, baby cobra. You're just lifting your heart. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release it back down. Good, for those of you who want to find your way into upward facing dog, press up strong through the arms. Lift the thighs off the earth. You got this. Use your hips, lift it up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath. Inhale, heels high. Bend the knees, empty out the breath, walk or float, feet to hands. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Flat back. Exhale, fold. Once more. Upper back presses into that upper chest. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees a little deeper. Roll it up slowly, nurturing your spine all the way up to stand. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way. Sweep the arms. Urdhva Hastasana. 
Exhale, hands to your heart center. Gorgeous. You can stay with me with feet hip distance apart, or you're welcome to come into that toe heel stance. Little sliver of space between your heels for that traditional standing mountain. I'm going to rise up, inhale, press the palms together, keep your index finger out, a little softness in the knees, reach up and over to the left. Peel that right hip away, keep the shoulder blades dropping into their sockets. Good, just feel that deep side body stretch through your rib cage. Inhale, back up, and exhale, other side. Feel so rooted through your feet here. And that hip joint just pressing away. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, go post the arms, release your thoracic spine. Let those collarbones really widen, smile towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep the arms high. Good, we're gonna move through a little bit of dynamic breathing. That just means moving with our breath. So arch, sorry, no arch, just lift the heart rather, and let the chest fold, arms sweep back. Good, right back into chair. Exhale, let it fold. Inhale, good energy. Exhale, release something that's not serving you. This time as you sweep up, lift your heels. Feel those legs working. Heels might shake a little, that's okay. Hold it for three, two, one. Release the heels, release the hands down, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Right foot steps way back into a low lunge. Good, heart forward, really strong through the legs. You want to check in and make sure your left knee is on top of your left ankle and your fingertips are framing your front heel. Really strong. If you need to modify, you can always release that knee down. Okay? One more breath here. You got this. Good. We're all going to gently release that knee down. Uncurl the toes. Sweep the arms up for Anjaneyasana. Press the palms together, index finger out again. If you want to add a little upper back lift here, feel the heart just start to lift. And naturally the gaze might float up. While we're stretching across that right psoas. Beautiful, one more breath. Bring it back through neutral, release the hands down, shift back into your tailbone, straighten through the front leg. Good, feel that stretch in that hamstring. You could always use blocks here if you need a little higher level. Okay, or anything, pillows on the side, something to help support, create more leg. Good. One more breath. Bring it back into a low lunge. Beautiful, sweep that right knee off the mat. Option here, stay right here if this is feeling good and juicy. If you want a little more intensity, sweep the arms along your side body. More intensity, even forward. Okay, I'm gonna take mine back. That feels where I'd like to be today. One more breath here. Just feeling powerful. Mind, body, spirit. Allow yourselves to feel re-energized through this practice. Sweep the hands down, take a rock step forward. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, lift the heart halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Back into Utkatasana, chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep the arms high. We're going to hold here this time and just bring those heels up again. Building that strength through the legs. You want to feel the tailbone nice and long towards the heels. And the heart lifting for three. You got this. Two. One. Fold. Let it go. Uttanasana. Inhale. Lift the heart. Exhale. Fold. Bend the knees. Plant the hands. Step your left foot way back. 
Good, bring that low lunge again, right knee aligned with right ankle, heart forward, breathe. Good, gently release that left knee down, uncurl the toes, sweep it up to Anjaneyasana. Palms come all the way together, index fingers out. Notice my shoulders are soft away from the ears, even though I'm reaching up and back. Good, breathe here. Be mindful not to overstretch. I have to be really mindful of that right now too. So just keep in tune with your body, what feels good, what feels challenging, but not adding stress into the joints or the ligaments. One more breath. Good, release the hands. Hands come down, straighten through that front leg. You can keep the toes down or flip them up. You want to continue lifting through your tailbone. Breathe. Getting that nice deep stretch behind that hamstring. Good, back into that low lunge. We tuck the back toes and fly the knee off the mat. We have that few breaths of strength, strengthening through the legs. Arms reach back or they can reach forward. For three, you got this, two, one. This time, hands come down, take it back to high plank, top of a push-up. Good, let's do four little toe lifts here. We have four, squeeze three, two, and one. Send it up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, heels high. Bend the knees, empty out the breath, walk or float, feet between the hands. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Step out to a wide-legged straddle. Facing the long edge of your mat, toes are straight forward. Sweep the arms up high. Exhale, fold halfway, arms here. Gonna turn your toes slightly out. I'm gonna come into, it's not skandasana, it's a skier's lunge, okay? So you're gonna head over to that right leg here. Good, and over to the left. And we just want the knee tracking over the ankle, so we turn those toes out just slightly. Good, you got this. Getting ready for those warrior twos. Two more each side. Whew, that's left, right, and last time here. Good, rise all the way back up, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, draw those elbows in towards your ribs. Two to go, inhale. Squeeze and release. Inhale, and Hold at your low point, stretch the arms out, and like you're flipping pancakes, you're gonna go up and down, up and down. Think of you working that bicep and tricep muscle. We got this for four, and three, and two, and one. Good, straighten up through the legs. Turn your right toes forward, back toes angle in for warrior two. Now I'm facing the back edge of my mat. Right leg is forward, back leg is long, warrior two. Hold here for three. Just breathing as we find that effort and ease working together graciously. Flip that front palm up, reverse your warrior, inhale. Deep side body stretch again. Lightly into that back hand. Exhale, back through warrior two. Slide right elbow to the thigh, top arm up and over that ear for a modified side angle. We're gonna fire up the obliques. You're welcome to stay right here as a modification. For more intensity, join me. Slide that bottom arm out. Both arms are reaching. We're peeling that heart towards the sky. Straighten through both legs, both arms come up. Inhale. We're coming right back into it. Bend the knees, both arms come forward. Two to go, inhale. Awesome, exhale. 
Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, split the arms back to warrior two. Lift up that front heel, get a stretch through that calf. Fire out, it's nice and strong. Heel comes down, straighten through the legs, rotate right toes to meet the left. Spin that party around, left toes forward. Back heel kicks a little longer. Wrapping that hip under. Knee aligned with ankle, middle toe. We want to make sure as we move through our asana practice, we're really tuned into that alignment so that we're not adding, you know, dangerous sort of things into our joints and our body. One more breath here. Good. Reverse your warrior. Flip the palm up, light as a feather. Reach up and reach back. Gorgeous. Back through that warrior two, elbow to the thigh, modified side angle. Gorgeous, everyone. I know you're doing brilliant. One more breath here. Good. Fire up your side body. Option to slide the bottom arm out. Hold for three. You got this, two. Straighten both legs, both arms come up. Inhale. Right back into it. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, right back into it, hold, and you got this, peel back to warrior two, shoulders over ribs, over hips, that's it, straighten through the front leg, left toes, forward, both toes again, parallel to the front, hugging the outer hips in as we lift up through those inner arches, interlace the hands behind the back. If that's too much, just let your arms fall free to the side. Roll the shoulders back, extend the heart. Exhale, bow it forward. Crown of the head lengthens to the earth. If you have a really safe inversion practice here, this is a great opportunity to release the hands down, to create that tripod headstand, or arms here, head connects to the earth, come to the knees and shoot it up. That's if you have an inversion practice that you want to safely play in this morning. That option is there for a few more breaths where you can meet forearms on the floor or stay in that bind we were in. Lots of options. Listen to your bodies. Give yourself an opportunity to play. Sort of discover what feels good. One more breath. Good, release the hands down, walk them out. If your feet left the floor and you're in inversion, just take your time coming back out. You can meet us here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale all the way up to stand. Come back into those little ice skater lunges. So turn your toes slightly out again. We'll head to the left first. Sweep both arms over. Good, reverse. Just getting low into that lunge. You got it for four. Mm -hmm. Three. Two. And good. Let's add one more since we started on that left side. We'll finish here. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the waist. Rotate the toes forward. Push off the back foot. Come to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, bend the knees, walk it back into high plank. Take it through your variation of chaturanga. Maybe pull through to your up dog or cobra. I'm modifying with my knees. I encourage you to have those thighs lifted if you're in your up dog, okay? Send it back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a horse's breath. This is a nice jaw release. So breathe in through the nose. And just like a horse sound, shake the lips out. One more time. Deep breath in. Good. Inhale. Right leg up to the sky. Open up that hip point. Draw the heel towards your glute. You have an option if you want to circle the knee around here. Create a range of motion, go for it. And then extend the leg and square the hips. Bring your right knee 
forward to the right elbow. Inhale, stretch it back up. You're going to bring it across to your left elbow and head into fallen triangle. So you're here, send that leg out to the side wall, release your back heel down, peel the left arm up to the sky. One more breath. Good, left hand comes down, sweep your right leg up and back, inhale. Release that foot down. Come into all fours. Beautiful, smooth hip circle all the way around to the left. Reverse, take it around to the right. And come right back up to all fours. We're going to tuck those toes for a moment, draw the sit bones back to the heels, and then take the arms forward and just roll the wrists around. Give those wrists a little stretch. And gently work your way back forward into all fours. Uncurl those toes, tap them out. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. You got this. Then we'll move through that left leg, lifting up on an inhale. Open up the hip point. Draw the heel towards the glute. Equal pressure through the palms. Circle that knee around if that felt good. One way and the other. Extend the leg and square the hips. Knee, left knee, left elbow, shift forward. Inhale, stretch it back. Across the body into fallen triangle. Send that leg out, release the back heel down. Peel, right arm up to the sky. Really firing, lifting that to the sky. Right hand comes down, inhale, sweep it up and back. Set that foot down. Come back into all fours. Knees and hips stacked, shoulders and wrists stacked. And then circle those hips around again. Good. Opposite way. Right back up through neutral. Hope you guys are doing great. All right. Heading into extended arm and leg pose. Extend that right leg straight back and left arm forward. Gorgeous. We're going to tap both pieces down and up. We'll tap it down and squeeze up. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Keep that right knee lifted. Draw the heel towards the glute. You have an option to sweep it back here. See if you can find that ankle. Give it a kick. Nice preparation for dancer's pose. Breathe. Shoulder girdle is forward. Release the foot without flinging it. Bring everything back down. Switch it out. Left leg elevates, right arm forward. We'll start with those taps. Down and squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. Down, squeeze up. And down, squeeze up. We hold it. Heel towards the glute. Option to sweep up back. Find the top of that ankle. Give the foot a kick. Good. Nice, release that foot. Everything comes back down. Let's take another child's pose. Knees wide apart, drop the sit bones back. Walk the hands forward. Sink here for two. Just checking in. If your mind has wandered off somewhere outside of this time, this space, bring it back to the breath. And just continue with that intention of feeling a sense of renewal. What is shifting? What is changing? What is working its way out of its, your body and your mind to make space for that sense of new, newness? Come back up to all fours, heart forward, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. We'll step this one through into a high crescent lunge. Back heel stays lifted. You can always use your right hand as a helper to step that foot through. I'm nearing needing that help. <laughs> Walk it up into high crescent lunge. 
Just feel that psoas stretch again. If you feel like you're having trouble balancing, you can always walk your right toes over a little bit so you feel that heel to heel space. Good, one more breath here. Beautiful, we're gonna come up into our warrior three. Bring your hands to your heart center, hinge your heart forward, start to drag that foot up and elevate as you're ready. Rotate that hip down, left pinky toe facing the earth. If you wanted more intensity here, you could reach your arms forward. I'm gonna keep mine at my heart today. The yoga really starts working when we most want to lead the posture. So keep that in mind. Maybe it's a little motivator for three, two, one, just send it back to high crescent lunge. Sweep the arms high. Good, I'm gonna give you an opportunity for a twist here. So bring your hands back to your heart center. Left elbow hooks over your right thigh for twisting crescent. I'm gonna stay upright and split my arms so that I cannot go into that deep twist. So you can join me here if you have sticky low back or any issues doing deep twist right now, you're welcome to join me here or you're dipped over with that elbow hooked, okay? For three, last two. Everyone meet back up, high crescent lunge. Hands to the earth, whoo, step it back high, plank. Take it through your variation of chaturanga. Pull through to up dog or cobra. Meet back in downward facing dog. Heading into the left side, inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, lightly step it through. Bring it up to high crescent lunge. Hips nice and neutral to the front of your mat. And then focusing, finding that powerful drishti, that steady gaze in front of you. Bring your hands to your heart. When you're ready, hinge that heart forward. Drag it up to warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. I'm gonna feel the strength of rooting down through that supporting leg with a little micro bend in the knee, extending the heel back from the hip and the heart forward. Everything is expanding, breathing. Gorgeous, let's send it back into our high crescent lunge, back heel releases, sorry, back toes release. You wanna keep that heel lifting. Good, and then we'll head into that twisting crescent, hands to your heart center. Start to rotate the ribcage, let your right elbow hook over that left thigh, or you can stay upright with me for a lesser of a twist. Good. For three, last two, my shoulders, my ribs and hips are all aligned here. Good, let's sweep it all back up to crescent, inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, high plank. Move through a vinyasa if you want, or you can stabilize and hang with me here in a plank. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Gorgeous, inhale, heels high. Bend the knees, empty out the breath, walk or float, feet to hands. Inhale, lift that heart. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, inhale. And exhale, hands to your heart. Sweep the hands behind the low back. Roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, inhale. Good, we're gonna let the chest act as a paintbrush and just melt it forward all the way till the head releases and arms roll up and over. Beautiful, release the hands down, bend the knees a little bit and just give a little shake 
all the way up. Beautiful. Let's come to a standing posture here. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to come from tree pose, Virkshasana, into dancer's pose. Just so you know where we're headed, the transition of the hips will stay neutral, but it's really just the transition of the leg turning out. So root down through the left foot, pull the right foot high up into the inner thigh, or below the knee to the inner calf. Hips neutral to the front of the space. Full expression if and when you're ready. And then just keep your left arm lifted. Bring your right knee forward, okay? So we get the knee moving now directly behind us. Sweep the knee behind, ankle behind, grab to that inner ankle. And when you're ready, you can start to lift the knee and lift the chest. I'm modifying this quite a lot for myself right now so that I don't overstretch the belly. So if you happen to be pregnant, you can join me and just be mindful of that. Keeping that powerful, steady gaze to keep our balance. If you have a wobble, you catch a breeze, just climb back in, no big deal. Good, release that down. And we'll sweep into the other side. Inhale, exhale. Right foot roots down, and then left foot into tree pose, Virkshasana. Again, either at the calf below the knee, or use that hand as a helper if you need it, to hike high up into that inner thigh. I'm going to feel this hip hugging in, strong and steady, rooted through the earth. And then lifting our heart, expanding our branches. And then transitioning into dancer's pose. Keep your right arm lifted. Bring the knee forward. Sweep the left arm, left ankle behind. Grabbing that inner ankle if possible. And then lifting heart and knee when you're ready. Really working through the balance and the strength of that supporting leg. Gently, mindfully. Really system. Beautiful work, everyone. Hands to heart center. Let's take a nice deep malasana, my favorite. Toes straight forward as best as you can. There might be a slight turnout. Mat width apart, and then drop the sit bones nice and low. Hands to your heart center. I'm going to use a block to help support my growing belly this morning. You're welcome to do that too with a pillow, bolster, blanket, whatever. Or you're just feeling the buoyancy of sinking through the earth and also rebounding up through the outer ankles, the inner ankles, that engagement firming through the feet, feeling the heart lift and the connection of your inner elbows and your inner knees, outer elbows, inner knees. You know what I mean? Right here for a few breaths. You can even close the eyes if that feels good. Wow, time just flies when we're together, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, coming out of our malasana, I'm going to come to your bottom behind onto the mat. I can't quite lower all the way down to my backs anymore, so I'm going to have you guys come all the way down to your backs and bring the feet here for bridge pose. I'm going to press up to a tabletop pose while you guys press up to bridge or wheel, okay? So you guys know the drill. You're on your backs. If you want to take full wheel, you'll flip your hands over next to your ears. Press to the crown of your head if that feels good. It's a nice energizing pose. Shoot on up. And if you're in bridge, you're just driving the pelvis and the belly up towards the ceiling. Or if you want to join me here in a reverse push-up, you can do that too. Just opening up through the chest. You feel the shoulder blades really snuggle under you, perhaps interlacing the hands beneath you on the floor if you're in your bridge pose. Awesome. One more breath, whatever you're in. Bridge, wheel, or tabletop with me. And gently come all the way down. Draw the soles of the feet together and the knees out wide. You can stay on your backs. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly in your Supta Baddha Konasana. 
Breathe. Beautiful. And then Yogi's Choice. One more time. Bridge, wheel, or tabletop with me. Feet are hip distance. Heels are close. Roll the shoulders. You snuggle in. And then press the sit bones up towards the sky. Whichever variation you're in, you want to feel your inner thighs rotating towards the earth. And feel a little softness through the glutes and your heart really open and expanding. Good. Hold it for two more breaths. If you can, and then slowly work your way down again. This time, draw the knees together. Let the feet stay wide. Hand on your heart and your belly and breathe in. Again, you're still on your backs here for three, two, one. And then come into happy baby. If you guys are on your backs, I'm gonna take it in and seated upright. So happy baby on your backs, elbows on the inside of the inner knees, hands on the outside. You can play with extending one leg at a time, a little rock side to side. You can even hook the toes and the peace fingers and take the legs out wide. See, pregnant ladies, we can modify. <laughs> if you happen to be with me in your journey, lots of great little modifications and still get to do our postures. Good, everyone come down, hug the knees into your chest. I'm gonna come down to my bolster. You guys are again are flat on your backs. So let's take one final supine twist. So hug your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg long. I'm gonna take my knee open while you guys are gonna take your knee across your body for a twist. I'm gonna take a nice open, open twist here. Just feel the unraveling of your spine and that Mind starting to drift into our Shavasana state. Good, come back through center, we'll switch it out. Hug the left knee into your chest, extend your right leg long. Open up your left arm to a T, root down through that shoulder, and then carry the knee across your body for that supine twist. And again, I'm gonna take mine nice and open. Inhale, come back through center. If there's anything else your body is calling for, if you feel like you want to do a shoulder stand or plow and you're in a safe zone for that, feel free to take that really quick. Otherwise, just come into your Shavasana flat on your back. So I'm going to take mine on my side today with my bolster here. And just take these last few minutes. Take a deep inhale and sigh it heavy out. Let go of that focused breathing. Let your inhale and your exhale just feel so natural in your body. Feel the melting of the skin, the flesh away from the bones. A softness through all expression on the face. A sense of releasing that third eye, our sense of concentration. In a moment to just receive and do absolutely nothing. Shavasana. Staying so peaceful, you're welcome to Take a longer shavasana if you wish. If you're ready to close out your practice this morning, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Deepen your breath, feel that inhale and exhale come back into your body. Stretch the arms up overhead, reawaken the body. And then meet me over on your right or left side, pausing for a moment. Taking this re-energized feeling, if you've been feeling a little sluggish or you feel like there's just 
some stuff hanging around in the body that is not wanted anymore. I hope that this practice is one, one that has helped shift and move and release some of that. Gently press yourself back up to seated. Keep the eyes nice and closed. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep inhale inside, heavy out to close our practice. And just thank yourself. Take a moment really just to say thank you, mind. Thank you, body. Thank you, spirit, for all that you do for me. And just thank your physical motivation to arrive in a space that is so supportive to your overall health and wellness. It's such an honor and a privilege to share space with all of you guys, so thank you. Namaste. And I'm Andrea Bogart, and I look forward to seeing you guys again after I have this baby, and uh, we will meet again. Thank you guys so much. It's been such a pleasure. Namaste.